Darkroom translates high-level image processing code based on stencils into hardware designs that can be used to create ASICs or run on FPGAs. It can also generate efficient parallel CPU code. We implement a number of algorithms using this model. Here we show a live demo of canny edge detection using our FPGA setup. The FPGA is on the left. Input from a webcam is fed to the FPGA board through USB and sent to the FPGA using an ARM processor. Detected edges are displayed in real time on the monitor. Our FPGA implementation of edge detection runs at 130 megapixels per second, which is sufficient to process 1080p video in real time at 60 frames per second. Here the bandwidth from the webcam to the FPGA on the board is a bottleneck, which limits the frame rate of the live demo. We also implemented a camera pipeline with functionality similar to commercially available ISPs, including stages for demosaicing, white balance, and color correction. Here we show some example frames and a close-up of the conversion from raw data into the final image. The camera pipeline runs at 142 megapixels per second on our FPGA, and an order of magnitude faster in the simulated ASIC designs. Here we show our edge detection algorithm. It has similar performance to our camera pipeline and runs in real time on our FPGA at 1080p. We implemented Harris Corner Detection, which is a common feature detector used in vision algorithms. It also runs in real time on the FPGA. Here we show Richardson Lucy deconvolution, deblurring an image convolved with a known blur kernel. To show the expressibility of our programming model, we also compiled CPU implementations of two more applications. Here we show optical flow calculated with Lucas Kanata. Optical flow is computed densely for each pixel, and here we visualize the flow field by sparsely sampling points and tracking them as particles through the flow. Our programming model also allows multiple simultaneous image inputs. We use this feature to implement a low-level depth from stereo algorithm looking for local correspondences between the left and right image using summed absolute differences. The footage visualizes the raw correspondence data with no global optimization, so this results in some noise.